All right, picking up where the inventory cost flow uh, presentation left off, the FIFO LIFO weighted average um, presentation, we ended up with some numbers for cost of goods sold and ending inventory values. I think it would be helpful to summarize those effects. So let's look at how the income statement is affected beta by the choice of cost flow assumption. So let's assume that for those two units that we sold, the selling price is $10. So in each case, whether we chose FIFO, weighted average, or LIFO, our sales amount, right, the amount of revenue we would have recorded would have been $20. Two units times a $10 selling price. Now let's put into that the cost of goods sold, right? This is like the upper part of the income statement. Sales minus cost of goods sold is going to give us gross profit. Uh, the FIFO cost of goods sold was $5, right, because it was the earliest two purchases, the $2 unit and the $3 unit. The weighted average was that average cost, so it was two units at $3.50 each. And then the LIFO uh, cost of goods sold was based on the most recent purchases being the first ones out to cost of goods sold, so the $5 unit and the $4 unit. So we end up with different amounts of expense under the same scenario, right, we sold two units, but we're recording completely different levels of expense just based on the accounting methodology that we've chosen. And then that means that the gross profits are different, 15 or 13 or the lowest being 11 for LIFO. So the choice of cost flow method will have a direct impact on our income statement, on how much profit we show. This is not lost on analysts, but it is not necessarily understood or picked up by folks who don't understand accounting when they're looking at the annual report for merchandising firms. Now, if we look at the balance sheet and we compare the ending inventory values, FIFO weighted average and LIFO, the ending inventory was 9, 7, and 5. And we end up with some very distinct differences. The ending inventory uh, under FIFO ends up being the most recent cost. So it's the highest and it more closely resembles the replacement cost for inventory. One could argue though that the FIFO income statement was using those early costs and may not necessarily have a good representation to the matching principle. LIFO on the other hand is showing older outdated values for their balance sheet, the very low $5 asset value, but use the more recent expenditures to record the cost of goods sold so the income statement is a little more reflective of current values. Um, during times of rising costs, the, these results where the income statement under FIFO is going to show higher profit and the LIFO statement is going to show lower profit, that will always happen during periods of rising costs. Likewise, during periods of rising costs, the FIFO balance sheet value for inventory will be higher than the LIFO balance sheet value. That will always happen. If it was a period of decreasing costs, where costs were falling over time, then the, the results would be reversed.